Welcome to Flash CS6's final tutorial on AS Gamer. If you go to hoodengame.com slash AS Gamer, you should find uh, this uh, tutorial. It's the last one. You just download to the bottom of the, go to the bottom of the page, extract the zip file, and if I shoot, you can see your score goes up, the number of kills goes up, and I'm getting hit a lot here. And there you go, I hit another one and I just got hit many times. I killed three monsters and my score is increasing. So how do we do this? If you go to your main uh, FLA file, Basics 1, and go to the library, click on Score HUD. Uh, we're going to right click, go to Properties. We have a class uh, that is connected to the Score HUD class, and we opened up all the class files. And so this movie clip is connected to this uh, Score HUD class. If I double click, and by the way, if I go into the Properties, you can see that it. Uh, uh, scratch that. If you go to the library, if you scroll to the right, you can see that it's a movie clip. It says movie clip here. And uh, we're just going to double click into this movie clip. Double click. And let's pay attention to what's inside of this movie. Go to properties. You click on this text box, which was created by clicking on this letter T text tool. You can see that the option that's set is dynamic text. Dynamic text means that uh, this text box has text that, that can change uh, dynamically on the fly using code. So this is dynamic text and in the actual instance name is called kills. That's how many times you kill the monster. And we have another text box here. Go to properties. It's also dynamic text. It's the number of times that you got hit. Good thing that we're very strong and we don't blow up it right away. We also have another property called score. Alright, so all these uh, text boxes are within the actual um, HUD movie clip. So we go into the actual score HUD uh, class and we see that uh, the score HUD extends movie clip and we have the various import uh, statements uh, necessary to bring in the power to our class file. And generally we have some variables here such as score, hits, kills, and they're public which means that uh, they're, they're accessible to any, any code class file whereas private means it's only available, this variable is only local to this uh, actual class. So here in the constructor, this is where the code begins <clears throat> when we actually create the score HUD movie clip, an instance of it. We initialize all the text to zero. So as soon as it's created, it's in, the text is initialized to zero, and we set the X and Y position of the actual score HUD movie clip. So here X10 looks pretty far to the left and stage ref dot stage height is the bottom of this stage minus height minus 10 so it's pretty near the bottom somehow so we have a function here called update kills it takes a, a certain value a number and it looks like the s kills the variable is equals to x kills plus value so we're somehow increasing this number variable and then we're updating the text we're updating the text kills dot text is updated by the actual uh, number here, but we're updating it um, with a th with the string version of that number. We have to wrap it around. We have to cast it with a string because when you're setting a text to something, it's expecting that uh, type to be a string. Because we are actually inside of the score HUD class, so we're talking in the context of the score HUD movie clip. When I say kills. Uh, kills is actually the instance name of the text box within this uh, movie clip. So kills.text uh, would be over, if I click onto the library, double click, score HUD score movie clip, it's referring to this actual text box. So uh, this is the instance name kills, and so we're changing the text inside here. The update hits function is very similar to what we talked about for the update kills as well as for the score. Let's take a, a look now at our engine class. Our engine class created a variable called score HUD of type score HUD. This is a movie clip. And we uh, uh, we create it and slap it onto the stage. So now it's, it exists on the stage. It's drawn onto the stage. And within the engine uh, loop, which loops every frame, we have uh, a new event listener, and the event listener is called killed with double quotes. And it's nice how you can actually create your own custom events. 
and we'll be talking about that shortly. So in the event that your custom event called killed uh, occurs, uh, then we're going to call the function called enemy killed. So enemy killed is here, and uh, when an enemy is killed, we call um, a score hud um, function called update kills, and we pass in one, and as and as well as we uh, update the score. So when we have this um, e dot current target is referring to the actual enemy. You can see that we're passed in the e event here. Here we see it was the enemy that actually called this original uh, function. So when we say e.currentTarget, we're talking about the specific enemy that uh, just got killed. And so when we're talking about the enemy, we're talking about stingers. So this here is a stinger object. So the stinger object dot points. If I go to stinger, you can see that uh, it has a variable called points, and the points are currently set to 1,020. So every time you destroy a monster, you get 1,020 points. And whenever the ship is hit, we also call the update hits function and pass in one. Let's jump to the stinger class. This is the monster. What's also interesting here is the idea of that we can actually dispatch an event. So when you call the function called dispatch event, it uh, expects a, a new event. So we just pass in the new event and you put in a double quote killed to say I want to dispatch the killed event. So it means we're actually saying something happened. And so when something happens in the case where the uh, the monster, the stinger is destroyed, you look back at the engine and we recall that we were actually listening for when that particular monster is killed. And so we actually created our own custom uh, event listener. So our ears are listening for something to happen, waiting, waiting, waiting. And finally, when it's the right time for the enemy to actually say, yes, we are dead, we're going to dispatch an event. Similarly, when we jump to our ship class, uh, we know that when our own hero ship takes a hit, we also dispatch an event. And we call that uh, double quote hit. So when you go to your engine, you should find some code here uh, in the engine constructor uh, that we're actually uh, making our sh ship listen for a hit. So congratulations, we made it through these uh, series of tutorials. I know it probably was uh, a bit too much for uh, beginners to coding, but um, this here is um, full-fledged object-oriented programming, the idea of using classes, creating instances. The difficulty of ActionScript is sometimes comparable to other professional popular programming languages such as Java and uh, C Sharp. But uh, who knows, it may lead to a great programming career. Uh, never fear. If you uh, subscribe, like, or comment, I'll break it down even further, make some more gaming tutorials which are easier to digest. Uh, this here is uh, a little bit dense for a lot of beginners, but uh, hopefully uh, we're on the right track towards making awesome, epic, successful games.